guys! Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who've watched my videos, you guys know that I love to do unboxings and I love to shop for petite clothing. The two online styling services for petite women that I'm going to be comparing today, Petite Avenue and Short Story. For those of you who are on the fence and wanted to know the similarities and the differences between the two, then let's go ahead and chat about it. So first off, short story, it comes in a box like this. Short story styles their clothes for women who are 5'4 and under. Petite Avenue, on the other hand, it comes in a bag just like this, and they sell petite women who are 5'5 five, five and under. If you run on the smaller side of the petite women, this is probably a good way to go. If you run slightly taller in the petite range, this might be an automatic go for you, but it's only an inch difference, so it just depends, right? It's really quick to start for both. Short Story and Petite Avenue are quite the same when it comes to starting off. You just go online, fill out their style quiz. This is where you fill out your size, your style, and the budget that you're willing to spend. Pretty much the same across the board. Petite Avenue will contain five handpicked pieces just for you. The short story always has at least five items once in a while, probably in the past year. I've gotten three boxes that contain six pieces and a lot of those times those are like an accessory. I've had one come with jewelry, I've had one come with face mask when those were popular, but it doesn't always come with that six item. Shipping returns and exchanges are free for both. Both companies carry various brands. Certain brands that Short Story carries are like Vince Camuto, Viramoda, Liverpool, and Pistola. They also carry exclusive brands that are made from Short Story themselves, which is really cool because a lot of times when they do that, price point on those items are not quite as high. So some of the brands that Petite Avenue carries are Blank NYC, Free People, Vince Camuto, Sanctuary, Bobo, Tahari, Cut From The Cloth, Madewell, Joe's Jeans, etc. Out of all the brands that Petite Avenue has listed, I have not gotten a piece from Free People, Joe's Jeans, or Madewell at all. So, I mean, I've had quite a few and those three brands I love and I would probably remember if I've gotten any of those, but I was not one of the lucky ones who did. <laughs> similarities between the two of these is that they also carry brands that I've never heard of before like in upcoming brands as well that fit petite women really nicely. You can update your payment info on both accounts. You can change and update your style profile. You can also update how frequent you want to get these style boxes. For Petite Avenue you can get month to month, quarterly or annually and you can cancel anytime. If you don't cancel they're just going to automatically send you one every month. For short story, you can do the same thing. Besides just canceling, you can keep your membership, but you can skip a box. I haven't seen that option for Petite Avenue. So one thing that I do for short story is if I know I'm not gonna need anything for the next month, I can go ahead into my account and just skip this month. And then I can pick and choose which months I'm gonna get them. So you have a little bit more ability to control how often you get these uh, style boxes from short story. For both of these style boxes, you have five days to try everything on and return your items. And of course, things happen. You can extend the time you have to return these items. Both are the same. You just find the email in their customer service section, send an email saying that you wanna extend the time and they will go ahead and do that for you. So it's $25 to sign up for Short Story and Petite Avenue monthly. That $25 goes towards any of the items you decide to purchase. If you don't purchase anything, uh, that $25 styling fee does not get returned. It doesn't get rolled over as well. For Petite Avenue, it's a little tricky. They put a $150 hold on your credit card. And once you're done returning the items and choosing which items you're gonna pick, the remaining balance gets refunded to you. And I totally understand it's to protect them just in case things get stolen. Personally, I don't like that they do that. And the reason is because it just takes the convenience away as far as price goes. Not all of us want to spend or have a $150 charge on our card right away, you know, cause that's a lot of money. We already give our payment information because it is a monthly payment instead of every month being $150 hold on your account when you agree to the terms you should be able to agree to a term saying that if you don't return these items you will get charged for them that's just my personal opinion in this regard Petite Avenue kind of loses points on this end so with short story you don't get to view any of the pieces that you're gonna get from your stylist until you get a notification that your box has been mailed you can go into your account and click the check out button and you'll be able to see which items are going to be showing up at your door in about a couple days with Petite Avenue for the first styling service that you get from them 
your stylist is going to work with you one on one. They're going to send you an email and send you photos of all the pieces that they curated and picked for you. You can then give them feedback, let them know which items you don't want and why you don't want them and which items you want to keep and why you love them. This will also give the stylist an idea of how to style you moving forward. Now with Petite Avenue, just keep in mind they only do this for the first styling service that she signed up for. Any future styling services that you get, whether it's monthly, quarterly, um, you're not going to get that same service. So it's only for the first initial one. They both send you prepaid bags. Short story is really easy. You just go onto your account online and then you check out your items, pick which ones you're keeping, which ones you're sending back. Then you put everything back in your prepaid bag and then send it off and you're good to go. If you're gonna exchange anything, you just let them know which size you wanna change it for if they have it in stock. And as you submit your checkout, then Short Story will go ahead and send you the new exchanged item that you wanted. Petite Avenue is quite the same. The only difference is, is you do everything manually. You get an invoice sheet where you hand write and check off which items you're keeping and which items you're sending back. In this invoice sheet, you also fill out what you thought about each piece that you tried on while you're sending them back in that form which you're going to put in your return bag as well so that way they can go ahead and read your notes for future boxes all right so that's pretty much it for both i hope this video was very informative there isn't too much of a difference except for the size range which is about an inch off five four and under five five and under this could be about five to six items in short story Petite Avenue is about five items, both $25 styling fee. Petite Avenue puts $150 hold on your card, which I think is a big setback. You have a five day return window for your items. You can have extended time if you email customer service for both. They both carry multiple brands, free shipping and free exchanges for both as well. And you can manage everything on your account online, like your payment info, your style info, and your frequency. The only difference is short story, you can skip a box, which is an upside for me. As a short story customer, you can get $25 for any friend that you refer and your friend will also get $25 on their first box. For Petite Avenue, if you refer a friend, your friend gets 10% off and then for you, you get $25 off credit. So that is my video for today. I hope this video was helpful for you. I don't want to make a decision for you, but I did want to make sure I give you the information that I experienced as a customer for both Short Story and for Petite Avenue. I did enjoy both. Of course, they both have their ups and downs. For me personally, I've always geared more towards Short Story. I've always had the best service with them. We're all different and I hope that this video was informative and if you were on the fence between the two, I hope this helped you make your decision. I'd love to know your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which one you ended up getting if you decided on either of them. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I'll make sure to leave my discount codes below for you too if you wanted to use them. It's there for you. Like I said, I benefit from them as well. If you wanted to use them for somebody else, go ahead and do that. Just make sure you get a discount. Also, if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much again for joining me in this Petite Avenue versus Short Story Box video. I hope this was informative for you and I hope I help you make your decision. Thanks again. You guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.